As each day goes by, it's one step closer to the start of the 2019-2020 championship season. And today, we continue our club-by-club -club team previews. And we're going to take another look at Brentford right here, right now. That's right, folks, back once again with another team-by-team -team preview. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at Brentford. But we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button to keep you bang out to date. With all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, woo, football related, we've got it all here under one roof. Now, before we jump into the thick of things, I want you to, to draw your attention to this fans, especially Brentford fans, boys and girls. I am on the lookout for fans just like you. That's right, boys and girls. Just last like, just last, just like last season, I'm looking for a Brentford supporter, whether it's one, two, three, four, doesn't even know how many you want to get involved, just please get in touch with me, whether it's in the comment section down below, or more importantly, you can head over to, to Twitter and follow me over there, at Roverseas, and give me a little buzz that way, DM me, and we can get, get chatting about it, and I'll we'll talk, talk to you about what's... What I'm looking for, what I'm after, you know, uh, for the new season. If not, you can always check back some of the old videos that we did last season. Uh, basically, I'm looking for a Brentford supporter to be my guest supporter for each uh, of the, the match matches between Brentford and Rovers, whether it's at Griffin Park or whether it's at uh, Ewood Park. Um, and we'll, we'll Skype prior to the match, ask you a few questions about what you think is going to happen and all that kind of good stuff. And then we'll check back with you after it. And we'll do it all again in the second time, the second time that these two teams uh, lock horns. But anyway, that's what I'm after. If there's something that's interests you, please get involved one way or another. But anyway, let's get cracking and take a little closer look at Brentford. That's right, boys and girls. They are back in the championship. Uh, well, they're remaining in the championship. And they are under the managerialship of Thomas Frank. They are play their games right here at Griffin Park with 12,763 people. Can, can walk through those doors, boys and girls. Um, they finished 11th last time out after an up-and-down season. Uh, they got to the fifth round of the FA Cup and the third round of the Mickey Mouse Carabao Cup. And the top goal scorer was Neil Malpay, or Malpay, or however you pronounce it. Um, but he is also hot property within the championship. I'm not too sure if he's going to be there at the start of the season. Uh, I'm sure once once we really get into top gear in the transfer scenario, he could be on his way out. And I just, again, I've done this in the past couple of videos. I am recording this quite early doors. It's the end of June, uh, but I'm trying to release them a video at a time. Uh, things may change between today, which is the 25th of June, and uh, and uh, the start of the season. You never know. Thomas Frank might not be there. He might go to be manage the German team, for all I know. Um, you know, I'm just saying things can change. Players may come, players may go. Um, but let's take a look at it. Uh, a little bit more detail now. Uh, this is from a Rovers point of view. In fact, scrap that. It's from a Brentford po uh, point of view. Uh, the two sides, both Blackburn and Brentford, have played each other 35 times in all competitions. Brentford winning 13 of them. Rovers winning 18. Uh, and they've drawn four between them. But last season, it seemed to be... Uh, it seemed to be Brentford who had the better end of the deal, winning 5-2 at Griffith Park, despite Rovers going 2-0 in front of that game. Bit of a shambles, that one. Uh, and then, But we did have a little bit of a revenge. 1-0 uh, win for Rovers. Am I correct on that one? I, I, I'm, a, I'm a little bit dubious about that. Might go 1-0 the other way. I'm not too sure. But anyway, this season, the two teams will lock horns, first and foremost, at Ewood Park on the 27th of November. Uh, and they'll go bring it back to uh, Griffith Park on the 22nd of Feb. 2020. Um, so let's take a look at what who scored have recorded as their best team last season, the best 11. Uh, Bentley between the sticks, Ngongo, uh, Janvier, and Bobbe at uh, centre backs, a three man uh, defence with Dalsgaard, Mokito, Soyuz, and uh, Debajo in a four man midfield with uh, Oli, Oli Watkins, Malpe, and Benarama up top. Now, this is a 3 4 3 formation, which according to the statisticians at whoscored.com, uh, Brentford played this 20 times. They also played a 4 2 3 1 18 times, a 4 3 3 3 times, a 3 4 2 1 3 times, and a 4 1 4 1 just the once. Uh, with this, rec with this, uh, uh, formation. They won nine times, drew six, and lost five times. So let's take a look at those players in a bit uh, more detail here at the stats for you, Malpe. Like I said, 25 goals uh, in the championship only. Better Armour got 10, Watkins got 10, Canos got seven. McLeod chipped in with three goals as well. As for the assists, Better Armour was the top dog with 14. Malpe uh, has eight, Canos seven, Sawyer six, Watkins has six. A couple of, uh, uh, as for the aggression, uh, Dalsgaard and Mepham both had a red card with Dalsgaard topping them 11 yellow cards to his name. Other stats on there, please take take it all in for yourself. Uh, moving on, this is what Brentford, uh, sorry, uh, who scored have 
uh, listed the weaknesses and the strengths for Brentford. They are very good at creating chances through individual skill. Uh, also attacking down the wings, shooting direct from free kicks and protecting a lead. Our, however, their weaknesses are defending counter-attacks, avoiding individual errors and aerial duels. They lack, lack a bit of nous that way. So a play taking long shots, short passes, attacking through the middle and they play the offside trap and very non-aggressive as well, defensive-wise. As for the uh, overall finish for Brentford last time out, they finished 13th in the table, right about there. Uh, middle of the table, but they were up and down. They were up and down. They were flirting with playoffs. They were also flirting with relegation at one stage, but they ended up right back in the middle of the table. Um, one point better off than Rovers. As for the home record at Griffin Park, very, very good. Look at that. Look at that. They are top three when it comes to playing at home. That's something that they need to prove upon. And um, correct me if I'm wrong. I, did I hear earlier um, that they are? this is the last season in Brentford at, at Griffin Park? You know, uh, what a fortress you're going to be uh, leaving behind if that's the case. I don't know. I might have mixed it up with somebody else. Uh, but anyway, as for their away form, Brentford is not that great. 20th uh, in the 24 teams that took up uh, the championship last season. So that's something that they'll need to approve upon. As for the form book, though, uh, Brentford sit nicely in sixth spot. So they ended the season quite strongly, when they, uh, losing just the one game out of six. Rovers up there as well. Look at that third. Um, is that overall? Is that the overall form table? I believe that was the overall form table. As for the home form table, Brentford are, where are they? They are sixth in the table, just losing one out of the past six. Uh, as for their away, they are, like I said, struggling a little bit, 15th in the table for their away form. Uh, just one win out of six. Um, so what's going on this season? We'll talk more about that in a minute. There's some transfer news for you. And again, these are likely to change. Um, Looks like they're, they're shopping on the continent a little bit. Christian Norgard has come in from Fiorentina, uh, defensive midfielder. Uh, that deal is to be completed on the 1st of July. Kane O'Connor as well, coming in from Hibs, uh, centre-back. Uh, he's joining the club, as well as Christian Chu Jensen. I know him from my football manager days. Very, very good player for that. Uh, and Jaffet Seri Larson, both are on Midgetland uh, and they're on loan. Centre-back and a right midfielder, respectively. As for players going out, uh, three players confirmed as it stands. Lewis McLeod, Josh McEachern and Moses Adebajo have all been released by Brentford. Again, things will change, things will develop, and I'm sure that list will change uh, as we get close to the start of the season. Speaking of the start of the season, Brentford will open up their campaign against Birmingham City on the 3rd of August, and as a Griffin Park. Then they take on Middlesbrough at the Riverside on the 10th of August before a Calabar Cup up against Cambridge United at Griffin Park. Sky, uh, they return to Sky Beck Championship action against Hull City on the 17th of August before an away days at Ellen Road, 21st of August, and they'll wrap up their six-game run against Charlton on the 24th of August. August. Where do the bookmakers think Brentford will finish up in the table? They finish. They think they'll finish right about there, give or take. It's not a number. It's just an area. So you know, knocking on the doors for playoffs as well. They're not in the green. They're not in the red. They're in the mid, but they're in the upper mid. So it's not too shabby. But what do I think about Brentford? Well, I'll tell you in about a month's time when I'll have my championship predictions live on the channel. So stand by for that bad boy. And once again, I am on the lookout. For Brentford supporters, just like you boys and girls, if you are a Brentford supporter, please get in touch, whether it is uh, in the comment section down below or whether it is over on uh, Twitter. You can follow me on at Rover Seas. Buzz me a DM me or whatever it is over there. Say, hey, I want to be your Barnsley supporter. Sorry, Barnsley. I want to be your Brentford supporter. Get involved. Get in touch with me one way or another. We can talk about it. We'll exchange details a little bit and get the band roll. Get the band back together again, boys and girls. Again, if you have participated in it last season or the season before, you know, I'm open to having you guys back. Um, I probably will reach out. If I don't get anybody, I'll be, re be reaching you back. Uh, but please get involved uh, one way or another. And that, my friends, is pretty much all I've got for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the thumbs up. And if you do, smash the subscribe. I'm going to try and bring you another team review right here tomorrow. Uh, it'll be in alphabetical order. It could be Blackburn Rovers, I think. I think they're next on the... Or, or uh, maybe I've sidestepped Blackburn. Maybe I'm going to save them for the end. Um, but anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the thumbs up. If you do, smash the subscribe. Got new videos each and every day right here on the channel. It just rains videos here at Blackburn Rovers. Uh, let me hear your thoughts and opinions about Brentford. What do you think uh, to, we can expect from them this season? Can they go all the way into the playoffs? Or will they be having a relegation battle? Uh, what's in store? Give me your thoughts and opinions in your comment section down below. Until then, thumbs up, subscribe. What's happening?